Jalen, myself, Raheem, and as you say, he got pass catching tight ends. This offense is going to be crazy. So I'm just here to just say, get your popcorn ready. It's going to be a great season for the Miami Dolphins. All right, SA, are you buying it? Will Tua lead an explosive offense? I just want to congratulate Tyreek Hill. <laughs> very, very, very special soliloquy right there. Uh, because what he's doing is, you know, he's encouraging, uh, you know, fans in, 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 the, in the area of, of South Beach, Miami, and Fort Lauderdale, you know, all the way down to West Palm. You know what? Don't, don't spend time on the beach. Come down and watch us. We're going to be worth it. So, in other words, we don't see a bunch of empty green seats in the stadium this year. That's what he's trying to do. And I, I get that. I understand that. They paid him that bag, and he's doing what he can from a marketing standpoint. I'm quite sure the marketing public relations department for the Miami Dolphins is incredibly happy with the cheater. Now, that don't mean he shouldn't be drug tested, because <laughs> I say that figuratively speaking. When you sit up there and, 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 and your attitude is, you got to remember, if he's saying just what he said, guys, no problem. No problem. Way to go. You believe in your catch. You got Chase Edmonds. You got Raheem Mostert there yep. from San Fran. You know the brothers can run the football. You got Jalen Waddle along with yeah. yourself and Cedric Wilson who came over from the Cowboys. You got a crew now. You got a crew of weapons. He's right about that. And we all know that, okay? So the question would come down to Tua Tungvaloa. Now we got to look at him and we saw that, you know what, in a short yardage situation, that's really all he could do. He could fling the ball distance-wise, but can he do it with accuracy? Can he do it while you're contested by an elite defender. That remains to be seen. We saw what he did at Alabama. We've got no questions about that. One of them deep throws delivered a national championship yep. against Georgia. We understand all of that. The flip side to it is that we haven't seen that on the NFL level. On the NFL level, short yarded situations is all we've seen him do. Now, Tyreek Hill is the kind of brother that can make a short yarded yep. situation into an 80 or 90 yard touchdown. So we get that and I understand that. The problem is he opened his mouth months ago by comparing Tua to Patrick Mahomes. You see, Tyreek Hill, you don't get to implement amnesia into our brains and to get us to just look at what you just said yesterday without remembering what the hell you blasphemously said a couple of months ago. Tua is more <laughs> accurate than Patrick Mahomes, where you never played in one damn game with him. I mean, that's just the epitome of ignorance. And that's so and I love the cheetah. Y'all know Devontae Adams, Tyreek Hill. Those are my two top receivers in the game of football. I love me some Tyreek Hill. He's box office. He is something special. But when you say something like that about Patrick Mahomes, mm -hmm. now when we look at Tua throwing the ball at Tyreek Hill, we're gonna go like this. More accurate than Patrick Mahomes. Show us. Mm -hmm. That Sam. statement yesterday does not fly because we remember what he said a couple of months ago. But here's the thing, Stephen A. What if he's right? And when I say right in regards to the explosiveness of this offense, look at who, like all those names. We name them all Tyreek Hill and Jalen Waddle and Chase. Ed. Like these guys are like 4 3 speed on the football field. These guys are take the top off of a mm -hmm. defense. So those players, talent wise, we understand what they are from a talent, from athletic ability, from a speed, all of that. But what I'm more excited about is Mike McDaniel. So Mike McDaniel obviously came from San Francisco. San Francisco, the last two years, they led the NFL in yards per attempt, right? Like they, that, that offensive mindset, I get it. Kyle Shanahan calling the play, I get all that. But that offensive mindset coming to this, this team with a coach who believes in you, right? You heard Tua say, man, this thing feels so different. Like I, this feels different than it was in years before. You had a coach on a private jet flying, talking about FaceTime and saying, I can't wait to be with you. I believe in you. Right, like that for me could change things. A coach who has an offensive mindset of number one offense or a top rated as far as yards per attempt, and then you have the players to implement it. You don't need to be able to. You don't need to. Have, you don't have to throw it 80 yards down the field. You all you five yard slant, 80 yards, 10 yards. Like that's sometimes all it takes with players on the field. Tyreek Hill and Ryan. Ryan can attest this probably better than anybody. Tyreek Hill is gonna gonna free up Jalen Waddle. Jalen Waddle is gonna free up Tyreek Hill, and we're not even talking about Mike Gesicki at, at tight end. Right, and then Raheem Mostert at running back. Like he back in 2020, he posted some of the fastest times as out of anyone on the football field when it yep. came to like speed that they track. So there's speed all around the field. Number one, number two, you have a coach who knows how to implement that speed. And now number three, the question mark is, will the quarterback be able to do it? There are different ways down the field, dink and dunk, but those playmakers, I believe, will make plays.
clock them and yep. they run 4-3, and then their dudes you get up on and you realize that speed is different, they got three or four of them on the same team. I think the thing that people miss about Mike McDaniels is this. He's coming from a place where the team had to protect the quarterback. We just finished talking about Jimmy G, right, and saying that Jimmy G has certain limitations. We knew how explosive that offense was. None of us ever sat back and attributed to Jimmy Garoppolo. What we said, it was coaching, it was, it was style of play, it was schematics, it was strategy, it was play calling. Well, you have someone who learned under Kyle Shanahan and understands that. You think we aren't going to see a little bit of Tyreek Hill in the backfield, a little bit of Jalen Waddle on jet sweeps? You think we aren't going to see the boot passes that open up the deep crossers and the deep post? We're going to see all of those things that made the San Francisco 49ers explosive and now with Tua Tonga Valoa. And this is a situation we aren't comparing Tua to Justin Herbert as we do all the time because one was picked fifth and the other was picked after and seems to be the better player. We're talking about a guy fitting into an offense that understands creating explosive plays with a quarterback that may have limitations. And I don't know about y'all, I believe that Tua Tungvaloa, who was drafted fifth overall, is more talented than Jimmy G. I believe the skilled players around him are more talented than what they had in San Francisco. And the one thing that Mike McDaniels is doing differently is this. You know, we've toured a ton of camps this offseason with the pivot. The camp that was, and not, not that it wasn't great, because we got to speak to Devontae Adams and they opened up the doors to us and the PR was great. The, the camp that was the tightest was the Las Vegas Raiders. Now, you might think why. Because of the type of ship that Josh Daniels wants to run. That comes from the Bill Belichick tree. So did Brian Flores. And one thing Channing Crowder told me was this was exactly how Miami was. It was tight and people were a little bit scared, this and that. It's not that same atmosphere anymore. And if anybody knows Tua, he's a laid-back dude. You saw when he had the ox card for practice, he was dancing around, right? We got a little a little Polynesian in him. He was having a good time. That's what he wants. That's the atmosphere well, he, that oh, is oh, now oh. created. I think he's going well, to first flourish of all, in this. Well, first of all, let's not give him a cookie for being relaxed and, and, and loose. He's near South Beach. Let's get that out the way right now. Your it's pretty place. easy. You know, it, it's pretty easy to be that way when you're near South Beach when after practice you can roll on the beach and chill out. I mean, come on now. I mean, that's number one. Number two, all right, you don't just say the pivot. Ladies and gentlemen, it's the pivot podcast, okay? With Ryan Clark, Channel Crowder, Fred Taylor and the crew. You don't just throw out the pivot. You make sure you tell everybody what the pivot is. That's Number two. Number three. Number three, RC. Help me. Help a brother out. Help a brother out, Sacho. I, yep. I like that Sacho instead of Sam. Sacho, I like Sacho. Sacho, <laughs> RC, help me out here. What am I missing? Mike McDaniels, I, okay, you know, he the head coach, all right? He was the offensive coordinator last year for one season. Before that, he spent four years as a run game coordinator. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I mean, let, let, let's not sit here and talk about this man like he's some golden child that, oh, oh my God, the Miami Dolphins. What is he like? Uh, Matt LeFleur. Uh, can we wait and see? Can we <laughs> wait and see? Matt LeFleur. Matt LeFleur. Matt LeFleur. Let me, let me LeFleur. Is that, I mean, all I'm saying is, I mean, can we? Can, listen, I'm, I, 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 I don't know, and I'm yeah. not trying to pretend that I do know, but what I'm saying is, can, can we see? Josh yeah. McDaniels is different. He's been around a long time. Yeah. Mike McDaniels, Sacho, can, can, can we see? Stephen can a. we at least see? You said, like, man, what is it? What are you missing? You're missing being on the football field, lining up against a guy like Tyreek Hill and being like, okay, what am I mm. supposed to do with this? Mm -hmm. you're it's not just, that's one thing to watch it. Like, watching, oh, wow, he's fast. Another thing to experience it, whether you're an outside 